This trust fund has raised concerns over the state of work at a police residential facility in Abuja after more than 125 million naira was spent upgrading 14 units of two bedroom flats. Executive Secretary of the Fund, Abdullahi Sakoto, noted with dismay that the project is way below expectation. Sifo Nesian has more. It's a race against time for the Nigeria police as the general election draws closer. Officers and men are undergoing training to reposition the force to play its role as a lead policing agency for the elections. Just as the force is getting its acts together, the police trust fund is giving more attention to projects meant to improve the operations and welfare of the police. As the police warehouse in day day now wears a new look. It was given a facelift to safeguard the equipment holding of the force. This is just as new facilities are being constructed at the police barracks in Garki. The building for the Cyber Crime Control Center is expected to be ready in February, barely two months after the Inspector General of Police reorganized the Cyber Crimes Unit of the Force. But the sticking point is that these 14 units of two bedroom flats were upgraded at more than 125 million naira. This is what the residential facility meant for the rank and file of the police used to look like. Engineer, honestly, I'm not satisfied with this job. I'm not satisfied because if there is rain now, most of this uh, uh, look, yeah. look at the roof just yeah. from outside from yeah. here. Beyond the facility upgrade, the spike in politically motivated crime in the country is one which puts the police and other security agencies on edge. Sifon Isien, TVC News, Abuja.